A what is up, keeper of the deep and people that are a creep. It's your boy Quaxer27, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I make thumbnails. So, what you guys are going to want to do is import the settings I have in the description box down below. Copy and paste into the import, you don't have to download anything. And you're going to want to probably move down the resolution so it's easier for you to move around in game. Next up, you're going to want to host a just plain old game, so you're going to hit the host game button down here, click custom, and just click one of these basic maps. You can't go wrong with any of them as long as you can find a decent place to get a screenshot. All you have to do is click on one of the maps and hit start game. Then you'll want to find just a spot on the map that is decent for taking a screenshot. This is the whole point of why I turned down the resolution, because if you have all these high settings, it will definitely lag your computer. So I'm just going to walk around here and maybe find a good spot to take a screenshot of. And right here seems pretty good. I'll get to the edge of that. I'll make sure to turn up the resolution right here, guys, up to a 2. And then you're ready here, guys. You just have to print screen this. If you don't know how to print screen, just Google that, because for different computers, it is different things. Next up is just making a thumbnail. I personally use Pixlr E right here. I'll leave a link to it in the description box down below. All you're going to want to use is create new, then click thumb right here. However, of course you guys can use any different kind of software. However, I use this because it's free and you can use it in your browser. Next step is to import said screenshot that you've done before, so make sure you know where you saved it or copy and paste it from. I personally save it right here guys, you're going to see it right here on my desktop. And you'll see the screenshot that I took earlier of the example. I personally smudge it just because it looks a lot better in my opinion and you can hide it if you don't have such high of a res, it looks a lot better. So all you have to do is click this little drop right here and go over to the blur tool right here, make sure you have this selected. I crank up the brush to a thousand and I just go across it a few times guys, it gives it a nice little blur. This is the way I do it, I know there's a few other ways that you can do it, however this is just the way that I do it with this software. Next step is probably adding your text. It really depends on the type of video you are making. You're going to go over this text tool right down here and type it in right here and you're going to click add. And I have the actual Krunker font. It's going to be a downloadable thing in the description box. You guys can download it and upload it into here. You guys can just click add local font and upload it through there. However, I already have it here. It's font two and you just make it Krunker font. I use white in the middle and I go to outline here, make it black, make this 82. The next step is to type whatever text you want in here. So I'll just make an example of how to make thumb, how to make, and you guys can always copy and paste right here like this. So after you type out your text, you're going to want to probably change the size, but you might want to wait before you do that because you might want other things on the screen. I personally use the Krunker Texture Viewer just because I'm not aware of how to use Blender and that's a lot more work than you'll want to probably put into your thumbnails. Just gotta make sure that you don't have the screenshot gradient button on and you have some pretty bright colors that you've picked out. All you wanna do is click the take screenshot button down here and it does all that work for you. You can then import that the same way that you did before for the other thing guys. It'll be in your downloads over here and it'll be right here, probably called render, and there you go, you got your little crunker character. After you get everything that you want in your thumbnail, you might just want to resize and move everything, such as I'm going to make this crunker little guy right here a bit bigger, and I will probably move this text and make it a bit bigger over here, just because that will make it look a little more appealing and not have any dead space. So guys, as you guys can see right here, just trying to make it fit. I might have to make this text a little bit smaller, but it is looking pretty good for something that I whipped up in around 30 seconds whenever you get down to it, and it's pretty clean. So this is the final product right here. Of course, there are better thumbnails that you can probably make if you want to learn how. However, it takes me about like 30 seconds to make a very simple one like this. 
maybe up to five minutes if it is a more complex one or if I have to crop a lot. If you learned a little something, join my Discord server. It's in the description box down below as well. So, there's a trick shot event going on right now. Enjoy that, and I'll see you in the next one. I've been playing some clunker. Grinding so hard, my hand hurts. My opponents might need a doctor. Cause you know, I'm too good with the sniper.